Hey guys, Jeremy here with another episode of Random Expensiveness. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Xbox One Elite versus the Xbox One S versus the Xbox One X uh, Scorpio Edition. And without further ado, let's take a look. All right, so we're going to start from the left to the right. And on the left, we have the Xbox One Elite. Um, the Xbox One Elite is the biggest of the three consoles. It does come with the Xbox Elite controller that does have hot swappable buttons. If you want a dome stick or a taller stick, you just take one off and put on a new one. And then on the back, it does have the uh, trigger buttons. So if you want to hot map some trigger buttons to the back, and that's the Xbox One Elite. That is a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, with the Xbox Elite though, you do have the power brick. Um, so something to think about uh, when purchasing the console. In the middle, we have the Xbox One S. Uh, this is the two terabyte version. Uh, it does come with the white controller. Um, this controller is uh, also Bluetooth, which is kind of nice if you uh, use uh, PC. And then also too, on the right, we have the new Xbox One X. Uh, that is a one terabyte hard drive. It does not come in a two terabyte hard drive. This is the uh, day one edition or the Project Scorpio edition. Um, and as you can see, the Xbox One S and X are very small um, and neither one of them have a a power brick and then for all my games I use the Astro A40 headset this is the PC version it works with uh, all Xboxes it works with the PC and it also works with the PS4 Pro alright guys just a quick overview of the specs as you can see the Xbox One and the Xbox One S uh, share the same CPU at 1.75 gigahertz and the X has the 2.3 gigahertz processor. Um, as for the GPU, the Xbox One and the One S are gonna be very similar with the uh, X having the upgraded uh, GPU running at six teraflops. Um, as for memory, the One and the One S share the same eight gigs of memory. X is uh, 12 gigabytes of GDR5 memory. Storage uh, on the Xbox Elite uh, was a one terabyte hard drive, the One S I uh, had the two terabyte hard drive and the X only comes in the one terabyte uh, hard drive. All of them are Blu-ray players. The One S and Xbox One X can also do 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. All right, and for 4K support, the Xbox One doesn't support it. The One S um, does support it with Blu-ray and other applications. And for native 4K gaming, um, you'll need the Xbox One X. The Xbox One S and X both support HDR. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to see more, check out my YouTube channel, Random Expensiveness. And if you have any questions about uh, any one of the consoles, just let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.